Okay, it looks like the stream's about six seconds, which is about normal. So we're all the way up to uh, 18. I'm assuming this is the save that has all the prep work and everything taken care of. Looks about right. So, let's see. Last time we uh, saved two prisoners along with a bunch of others. But two playable. And controllable uh, prisoners. Level 26, level 26. Uh, so everyone's around 25. Some are behind. Uh, Gale's a bit behind. He's probably the least leveled up out of everyone. Brooks, not level 19. So, so like, the majority of our cast is up around 25, almost 30. Once we do hit 30, we get another promotion we don't have any money so we can't buy anything in particular but I kind of forgot everything else I know they're talking about rebellion so looks like We'll probably be taking on the king here, who's uh, presented as the not the great big bad, but a tool of the big bad. So, wonder who will kill first, the king or the necromancer. But in either case, in the wake of their stunning victory at Durvan, Brookstead had become the priority target at Delhi. The party resolves to do what they can to ensure the safety of their families. They head now to Brookstead, only to find that they had arrived too late. It is already under attack, though a defense appears to be led solely by a strange pink-haired woman. Late again. Black Knight, we may never get the first step on these people. Why would the Delian troops be assaulting the village with such force? They should only be here for such few. It seems we spent a great deal of time attempting to explain Varric's motives rather than rectifying his actions. Indeed, he's making an example, as rulers who feel their control slipping often do. If we don't intervene, this town won't exist outside of the histories. It best take me before I let that happen. Let's show them what it means to be from Brookstead. This was my home once, too. It deserves better. They better not touch Grandpa. They won't. They don't stand a chance. Never did. The townspeople seem to be putting up quite a fight, but it looks like that woman is in the thick of it. She's losing allies fast. Okay, so. Defense increased by 10% of magic. So, we want to pick something that has pretty good magic growth. Looks like. Okay, so what would her defense look like so far? 25, 29, 20. We don't have a magician, do we? She would have high speed, high mastery, high dexterity, and then she's supposed to get a 10% increase from magic. But does that go into the base number? I think this is just the base number. So that would be a 70%... Er, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong item, aren't I? Uh, magic. This would drop down to a 70%, 75, 70, 90. So it looks like she'd be a good arcanist. Let's try Magician. Well, she just got reinforcements. To arms, friends. It's time the people of Brookstead saw who we've become. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got mostly for the field. So, 
very front, we have a bunch of magic users, so our knight is not going to be as useful. So it looks like we can attack from three different directions. It does look like it would be much more beneficial just to attack from two sides. 26, 26, 26, 26. Yes, they're all around 26. So we need people with high fortitude if we're going to attack the front. So 25, 7, 3, 2, 26. He's only got 19, he's only got 18. We could probably put Brook in, but... Okay, so we'll throw in our two Dragoons, because I'm... Just to make sure. I'm pretty sure she should have... Pretty good fortitude. It's 18. It's probably fine. We want our two witch hunters for sure. Throw in our strider, throw in Brook, Lincoln. Bianca has been doing a great deal of work. Okay, maybe we'll pull out Lincoln, we'll put in Sophia. We'll pull out Corvin, we'll put in Fenton, maybe. Because we gotta get past some archers. Assassins, thieves. Those are assassins. What are these guys? Tricksters. don't really have armored guys, so we don't really need mages, but we do need mage killers. Everyone looks like they're going to be fairly fast. And then magic users. So, change that up, I guess. Alright, I think that's our best strategy. Having Ford would be nice. Uh, we could always put in Monroe somewhere, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
If you insist. Two. If you insist. 87. That's going to do a bit of damage, though. She is much more susceptible to all that. Only 43% chance to hit there. 58. In position. But that'll kill. That's only 18%. 60. Try me. So, one thing that we could try and do is... Whatever it takes. Get Irving there. Don't mind if I do. with a shot. Very low chance. Okay, so I'm going to put Brook in the back. Benji's always ready! Little bit of XP there. Looks like I want to upgrade the spear for magic users. Embrace your fallen fate. Nearly dead. Ready. Four percent, but we'll go for it. Now 
that figures. Stop poking me. Don't look at me. I'm on another level. Let's get going. She has a slightly more upgraded one. Let's see that dropping down to 25. 24. No hard feelings. That's your kill. Shield is yours. Great, maybe you'll help now. Effort duly rewarded. Get this level up, and we get a buff for attack. Oh shoot, do we have control over this one? So, let's say we were up here. 60%. 51. Okay. Why do you even bother? Alright, so we should get a kill. Launch it hits twice. We have control over it already. The gods can't help you now. They shouldn't be able to do some amount of damage. Good hits, at least. Father, give me strength. That's a kill. If you insist. That's if we hit. I guess. It's rude to stare. Okay, that's guaranteed. This one's on the house. Smash! That one's guaranteed. I'm pretty sure all crits are guaranteed. <laughs>
position. In position. Now, let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Change. Oh, him. no, you don't. How can I help? My hard work is paying off. Brace yourself. Strength is the only path to peace. It's just so low. Quickly and quietly. All right, so we'll do this golden. Pathetic. Do this arm. Get some XP at least. Should get hit again. It is willed. Stay back, creep. <laughs> Outstanding move. Forge ahead. I am here. It's forty one percent. But like no chance of damage. Okay, what about here? I am here. It's probably our best move. Embrace your fallen fate. Is your reward. Grown is the shadow past. Okay. I would really rather not have to do more fighting with this character Easily if done. I can avoid it. So we'll just wait there. Since there's no healing items. No, oh, that was worthless. <laughs> and he caught you. Safe. And land of the retaliation. Absolutely worthless. <laughs>
60%. That was worth a shot. Benji does not care. If you're sure. Wow, I need to work on your uh, dexterity or something to increase those uh, hit chances. You've made your death a necessity! percentage. It's fine. You dropped something. It's fine by me. Okay, I guess Kodachi's our best. Can do. An easy target. <laughs> Dead on the first strike. Wish I could do that. Ah, thirty four percent. Oh, well. your fallen fate. Okay, so I need to upgrade glives and pikes for the dragoons. If I want them to be mage killers. How can I assist? I haven't made any moves on her. So much work to do nothing. It's not even like they even do debuffs. Let's get going. Seventy three. With every shot, progress. It's on. 
It's a very slim chance to hit, but we'll go for it. How can I assist? It is willed. Embrace your fallen fate. Disarm. I have him press forward. Quickly and quietly. Uh, hit chance is a hundred. It's easier if you hold still. Okay. So I'm gonna need my duelist dispatch assassins. The like. Looks like. Stay with me. Gladiator. In position. You know what? You should be fine up there. I will. Brace yourself. Get the XP. I'm not going to press it too much further. And I'm going to have my magician kind of just sit there. Hundred percent hit. Not only are you dead, you're super dead. Wrong day to play hero! Somehow we get a crit. You're really gonna try me? And there it is. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna move him for just a bit. Move him over there. Whoops. I'll catch up later. Get a little bit of Quickly experience. And quietly. Lead the way. Whatever it takes. Brace yourself. It is willed. Uh, let's see. let's go with Pike. And we're going to Make haste. Run like the wind! There. Everyone got experience. Don't worry about the unit. They're just freaking out a little bit. Your fallen fate won't kill. 
but they'll be pretty dang close. Bianca's always putting in the work. That tickled. <laughs> Unless you can do a lot of damage to Bianca, uh, she can heal herself just from combat as long as she hits. That is what I like about Bianca. Kinda OP. Okay, so there's 17, so 73, 88, 82, 70. I guess that's our uh, best bet is to stay with arcane missiles. Me? I'll catch up later. It is only a 47% chance, but hey, we'll take it. Even with crits, nothing. <laughs> the archer. Most dangerous unit there. Okay, so where would they be? There. So let's make our way over. Before we do that, uh, 27... How can I assist? Do not lose hope! My turn! I'm gonna go right flank. If you insist. Lead the way. That's not paying attention to that one. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Just can't hit too much, can we? Ow. Maybe now I'll blend in. Quickly and quietly. Too much risk on that one. Ho, ho, ho! Father, give me strength! Lead the way. 
Benji's always ready. Here I accidentally hit trade. Easily done. I gotta take that as safety. <laughs> There's a chance we may have been fine anyway, but my turn. Effort duly rewarded. What are we looking at? Okay, so we want to send Brooke towards destruction. Mildly concerned. Since she's the objectives, if uh, they did a crit. She's always ready. Set up. In position. We need to build a wall. I've got it. Lead the way. Lead the way. My hard work is paying off. Whatever it takes. Okay, so I think Pike is our best bet. We could probably lure a couple of them out. On the move. Out of everyone you could have attacked, you chose to attack them. Expecting a bit more on the potential damage, but fine. I am here. Okay, so we're gonna pull back just a little bit and move him here. Almost lost you there. I'm gonna place you like uh, okay. How can I assist? We're a graphical glitch, I guess. No! Make haste. I will. Could probably end the mission here, but look at all this potential XP. And they are attacking our uh, I... hometown, so. Seems only fitting that we get a little bit of revenge. If you actually killed him, Benji. If only.
Don't mind me. Okay, so I think I need to have like four people around me in order to close it out. Kind of cool that you have an objective you can move yourself, and all you gotta do is get like four people around you. Let's get going. It is will. Oops. Huh? Only forty four. We'll, we'll try. I gotta take a look and see what the difference is between the two to see why one has a bit of a better chance. Right? Live, I suppose. Strike true! One more for the good guys! Almost lost you there. Okay, so now we have Chaotic Energy. Allies within two tiles gain 8% crit. Plus one to the healing range. And dodge is increased by 15% of power. If we go for this, gain movement range when a bonded unit gets too low on health. He doesn't have a whole lot of bonds yet, so not immediately helpful. Attacking increases the effect of your next heal. Stacking infinitely. So just go ham on aggression or just throw him somewhere that he could survive every fight and encounter. Okay. Let's see. Paladin. Indomitable. Any damage over 20% of max HP is reduced by 50%. Healing leaves a ward on allies that increases healing taken for three turns. Okay. Plus one more to, to range. And dodge increased by 15% of power. Now if we go for Phantom, Ethereal, can move through enemy units. Power increased 0.4% per percentage of enemies missing max health. I just don't see it. If we go for this, we'll get another plus one to healing range. And then another plus 15% of power for dodge. Then again... So, I think we need magic, fortitude, and either defense or dexterity. And we're not going to get any changes to our base, but we will see an increase or decrease in our growth stats. The thing is that we don't well, I guess we have 20 strength, but we don't have a whole lot of defense. We do have a reasonable amount of fortitude. So this would decrease fortitude growth, but increase defense. Whereas this would increase fortitude, and defense would stay about the same. Let's go for a healing range. Then again... Uh, how much is movement? Eight. Eight movement.
Yeah, I don't know. We're going to go for profit. So we're, we're probably going to end up with like two profits, if I'm being honest. Lead the way. Still with us? Good. I'll catch up later. Coming through! In position. Some up towards over there. No! As we we'll get some XP here and there, where we can. And I think that's just about all we can really do. Don't mind me. No, that's right. We can also phase up to one more tile with Magician. I forgot about that. Not the most important thing, but it might be useful in saving a unit. We are unimpressed. My turn. I feel stronger. Okay, Do I so look now we're stronger? Twenty eight. Do not lose hope. My shield is yours. Hey, idiot, you're going to die. No! no, they won't. Everything's under control. Everything is under control. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to heal there. I'll catch up later. Don't mind if I do. Brace yourself. Strength is the only path to it. peace. I've got it. Don't mind me. Oh, okay. I see how that works now. Depending on the distance, they'll also phase that equal distance. Interesting. A bit unsurprising, but interesting still. Embrace your fallen fate. You're dead. Close to dead. One HP. Even your curdles tickle. With every shot, progress. More work. Me for a second. My turn. Run like the wind. It's on. Move. Me? I'll catch up later. Don't mind me. Sixty-one percent. Out of curiosity, it would be a bit risky if they do land. Maybe more if they get a crit. Let's 
This guy's been landing crits. Which is why I'm a bit uh, cautious about sending in our More work. Ass assassin. <laughs> Takes. Brace yourself. Can do. Make sure I'm on the right weapon. That would probably be helpful. Move! You dare approach me. <laughs> How foolish of Strike true. I guess he just got tired of feeling useless. Groans the shadow cast. If you insist. Draw near to the light. Don't mind me. Okay, so we'll go and do that. Catch up later. Those are all mages, so we don't really want our uh, armor guy to approach that way, but we can send him up through here. I will. Brace yourself. Can do. Should be fine. Wrong day to play hero. Yeah, that's a kill. It's only going to be one of those longer missions since I'm taking my sweet time and farming XP, but hey, may as well. Coming through! Lead the way. Be here for a while. I'm gonna let Brooke get as much XP as she can off of it. Wrong day to play hero. Yaka's gonna get so many kills. Unfortunately, just not working out as much as the next. Maybe now I'll blend in. Lead the way. 
me. Yeah, we're fine. You've made your death a necessity. <laughs> and he killed. Would have been alive by a sliver if he didn't. Coming through. Okay, so that looks like it might be a bit more scary. Are there. I've got it. Quickly and quietly. Only gonna be doing like two percent, two damage. <laughs> to show the zero for the gladius plus one. Sharp skills, full pockets. Got so much level that we gotta do. Wait. might not be good. So, for the reason that when I clicked on the left arrow key, it changed her weapon. Should be fine, but the Gladius had the best uh, stats, so we might not be doing any damage on Retaliation, which is unfortunate. Easier if you hold still. We even got a crit that does nothing. I will. Whatever it takes. Okay, so we can go here. I'll catch up later. Place her right about there. Swift. 
will it be? Pull back one square. You won't be missed. Scary. If you insist. Okay. So we'll like one more attack. Increased by 10% of magic. Phase range plus one. Allies within two tiles have increased accuracy. Powers increased by 20% extra of magic. Mastery is increased by 20%. Phase plus one. Allies have even more increased accuracy. Crit is increased by your percentage of health up to 30%. 35% chance to add 20% of current HP to damage. Our HP is 66. Taking damage grants a healing ward to adjacent allies. Defense is increased by 10% of magic. What's her defense so far? 20. I think we're going to go for wizard. Easily done. Don't mind me. Me? I'll catch up later. My hard work is paying off. Benji's always ready. Oh, shoot. Benji's always ready. All right. For sure, I thought I messed up. Like, I, I have to put... To Arrive on all four. So Bianca got nine kills, Helena six. Ha, huh, look at them run, cowards. Hopefully, this makes Varric think twice before sicking his soldiers on his own civilians. Too late. I'm sorry, Esme. You fight bravely. The people of Brookstead owe you a great debt. Irving, thank the gods you're safe. What? Forgive me. Have we met? Long ago, when you were far too young to remember. It can't be. Aunt Liberty? What are you doing here? Your father dispatched me as soon as he learned he'd set sail for Etlin. He quickly suspected Varric would try something unconventional, though I'm afraid not quickly <sighs> enough. What do you mean? Has something happened to Mother? The soldiers already captured her by the time I arrived. I tried to catch up, but I was greatly overwhelmed. 
It was all that I could to rally a handful of townsfolk and stage a defense. No doubt the town still stands thanks to you. God's mother. <sighs> I'm sorry, Irving, but don't lose hope. We'll find her. Esme is a strong woman. That's why your father married her. She'll hold her own until we do. <laughs> Grandpa, you're alive. Alden, Marin, thank the Listen gods. Up. Where the blazes is my son. Father, I'm glad to see you're alright. I was... What in the abyss are you th are you doing here? The lot of you put this entire town in danger with your presence. What's left of it? Maybe. And here I thought we just oh, saved it. Hmm, perhaps you have. It's good to see you, son. You too, Dad. Brookstead is not safe for any of these folks anymore. Have you a camp nearby? I'd say we've a better than a measly camp, but it's quite a ways off, especially for these little legs. Then it sounds like we best get moving. Varric won't hesitate to strike with a force three times the size. Good advice. On my back, dwarf. Lead us home, Irving and Garrett. Put those sharp eyes to use. Be certain we are not, or we aren't followed. Yes, father. Chapter 19: The Rising Tide. You have my condolences, Irving. I can't imagine what it was like for you, but you can't blame yourself. We did everything we could. In fact, I'd say you were successful in rescuing me. I don't know how much longer I could have held out alone. At any rate, I won't abandon my mother to her fate. So what do you suggest? We stroll into Soldier and knock on the front door of the keep? We need an army. Oh, yeah? Then we got one. Or, then we get one. Of course! We'll have Corvin draft a poetic letter to Count Montre, and we'll raise all the levies in Nellius. I'm serious. If we want to stand a chance at rescuing Irving's mother, we'll have to go through Varric. That much is clear. Luckily for us, this land is full of strong capable folk who have, with no love for the king. Citizens across Delia are already taking up arms against the king. In your name, Irving, who better to rally them together be around a common cause? But where would we go? Naturally. Another infamous prison, ripe with agitators pinning or pining for their liberation, naturally. Not exactly. Listen, I grew up in High Ridge. The people there have a special devotion to Fane, the god of oaths. They celebrate his festival every year. It's at the end of the third week of Duskart. The third week of Duskart ends in five no days, which gives us enough time to get there if we leave now. Suppose we do make it in time, then what? The city patrol routes haven't changed in a hundred years. If we're careful, I can get you past the guard. Easy. Once we're in, we set Irving up in the town square. The citizens of High Ridge are a proud and freedom-loving people. Appeal to their honor and remind them of the countless oaths their king has broken. They will follow. Follow where? Shall we lead them right back to the ca caverns? Or perhaps announce our secret location in the town square? Of course not. We simply tell them to follow the dragon's tail south. Many of the prisoners we've already freed have experience in discretion. We can use them as scouts. When they encounter refugees looking to join our efforts, if they seem in earnest, they lead them to Merrowhold. What makes you think these scouts would be so discreet? They ended up behind bars one way or another. You got that right. I consider that an advantage, a lesson learned, one more reason not to end up in Delian custody again. Hmm, dubious at best. I'm more worried about what happens immediately after Irving's speech. I'm sure the garrison will descend on us like an angry hive. We'll have to bust out of here, there. But we should be able to help with that. Mm. I'm not sure about this. Irving, I'd assume the king's got every soldier on double patrols looking Good for work. us. We'd have to take every precaution, but what choice do we have? Another opportunity like this might not present itself for a long time. Alexa, if we took refuge during the day and traveled at night, could we still make it in time for the festival? We'd be cutting it close, but I think so. Then we leave tonight, as soon as it's safe. Very well. I just hope you're prepared. Not only if something goes wrong, but if all goes right. Whatever we bring about, we'll have to live with the consequences. I understand, Lincoln. I don't take that lightly. I should hope not. Get some rest, friends. We leave at dusk.
So much dialogue. everyone. Power plus 20%. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick bio break. And then we got some upgrades to do, and... We might be able to start and finish another chapter, depending on how long that takes. I will do that shortly.
So we're gonna buy some level one tokens. Uh, do I have any one that's like at level four? Before I get too far ahead of myself. Okay, so that one's like fully upgraded. The only other one that she has is Arcane Blast. I guess Benji. Sophia still needs like a level three. All right. Uh, oops. For Benji. Strider. So I need something that has a lot more accuracy. So I guess we're gonna have to go Kodachi. What's the problem? So, so I said we don't have like really anything in our inventory that we can sell. So there is a chance I might actually set Bianca out as much as I like her. Just so I can get like maybe one more unit. A bit more experience. Uh, potentially, depending on what we have to face. The party arrives at Brookstead too late to help Esme, who is nowhere to be found. They do come across Liberty, a member of the Order of Eternals and Irving's aunt. She had been trying to save Esme as well. Vesta catches up, her up, and she joins the revolution and orders from Alistair. Alexa presents a valuable opportunity to win the hearts of Delia at the Festival of Fame. There, Irving plans to take the stage and recruit citizens to the revolution's cause. Looks like Alexa has cleared the stage. Speak as he normally would. I'll cast a few spells to make sure you're heard well across High Ridge. Right, mm. thanks. Think nothing of it. Though I do hope you've come up with something compelling. I'll let the people judge that. We'll keep the soldiers back as long as possible. People of High Ridge, citizens of Delia, I gather you, you here tonight to celebrate Fane, the, sa the sacred god of oaths. The festival of Fane is about honoring your word, rejoicing with your compatriots. Together. 
Festival of Fame is about coming together to respect our common values. You gather here in High Ridge year after year to celebrate traditions that have survived for a millennium. Yet, this year we find these very traditions forbidden by the mandate of Delia's king. Why is it that this year your friends and family were hesitant to make the trip when they'd done so their whole lives? The most honorable people you know absent from the most honorable event you know. Is their honor now in question? Have they forsaken their traditions? They've always held dear. No, their honor has never been in question. Why then? Because the foul influence of King Varric Val d'Astaire has now poisoned even our most sacred traditions. And what does our king know of oaths? He has broken his oath as the uh, protector of his people, opting to wage a war of conquest that he cannot hope to win. He has broken his oath to care for the weak and vulnerable of his kingdom, breaking them underfoot to build monuments to his pride. He has broken his oath to serve his people, twisting his station to take his citizens as slaves, when his own ancestors first outlawed the savage practice. He once broke an oath that I hold dear as well, conscripting myself and many youths who could hardly lift a sword into his army. He sent many of these children to their death, and for I what? Hundreds of lives that our great country will never get back. Hundreds of lives that would be happily training at home were one such oath honored that day. I am Irving Sodarian of Brookstead. I am the leader of the Delian Revolution, and I cannot in good conscience sit idly by and allow this oathbreaker to destroy the kingdom I love. We so join me. Those of you who truly wish to honor Fane with a noble sacrifice, join us in our efforts to restore Delia's honor and glory. Follow the dragon's tail, and friends of liberty will point the way. Silence, huh? traitor. I am the traitor. Come to your senses, man. Capture him. And now we have combat. Okay, so let's see what we are up against. Some mages, paladins, and guardians. More mages. A couple of st sneaky guys. Hmm. But, do I have to get every single unit on these squares, or do I just need to get one? That is the question. Alright, Bianca, I guess you're going to stay here. Irving is close to level up, so it would be nice to have a another. Da, 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 da. So I'd have to worry about really the duelists and the assassins, kind of. It's 
seems like a good enough start. Benji's always ready. It is willed. Chop chop! Run like the wind! Brace yourself! Yeah, I better get paid. More work? Oops. Keep hitting trade by accident. Depending on how quickly I'm able to dispatch these guys, I may or may not uh, stick around. And eliminate more. I will if I can, just so I can get some more XP and get more advanced classes. Do we get a crit? We Wrong get a crit. day to play hero. So much death dealt by Bianca. She could almost solo nearly everything, except for like a few items. Wow, he dies even without crits. Not a good plan. We get a crit. Yield now or die. You'd never ask.
getting pretty close to death. If you insist. Yeah, I better get paid. Little warning next time? Not too much in the way of experience, but... Benji's always ready! Alright, hold off on that just for now. You're really gonna try me? Bianca, clearing the way. Hmm. It's a single paladin, huh? Benji's always ready. Coming through. glitched out again. <laughs> Be Lead the way. Sometimes push just doesn't want to work. <laughs> Waiting orders. If you insist. You're asking for it. Pretty decent level up. And yeah, that's not what I intended to do, but okay. Yeah, I better get paid. She brings the heat! 
Get him, Benji. Thought you'd never ask. Sorry in advance! Won't kill, but he'll be pretty close. Oh, fantastic. It did. Glitched out so bad. All right, so if Irving dies, I am restarting that because that was a weird ass glitch. I, I don't know. That's doing at least 40. Okay, so we actually have to have every single character escape. Which is what I was thinking it would do. How can I help? Alright. It's not worth it. <laughs> what do you know? I gave it to them straight. Eleven kills in that short amount of time. Come, Irving, our task is done. It. Right. Am I the last one out? First in, last out. Let's get back to safety. Ha 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 ha. What under the sun? Stay back. Yes. Akam or Ak Minos. The one you have named Necromancer. He has your mother. She lives for now. Where is he? He's a coward. Tell us to face us himself. He awaits you. Irving Sildarian. At Arrogance Peak in seven days time. If it's a fight he wants, he'll have it. Good. Oh, do you hear that? The sand. It's falling in the glass. Shh. 
We're running out of time, Irving. Come on. Okay, weird. Arrogance Peak, huh? Well, someone's going to be dying to it. Thanks for coming, everyone. <sighs> my worst fears have been realized. Varric doesn't have my mother. The necromancer does. How did you learn this? A reanimated soldier approached us. Or approached us as we fled High Ridge. A thrall at the necromancer. No doubt. This necromancer goes by the name of Akminos. And he's expecting us at Arrogance Peak in seven days. If I'm not there, he'll kill my mother. Mm. While it seems might seem obvious or yeah obvious beyond mentioning we do need to discuss the possibility that we're walking into an ambush she'd have come for me all the same Esme did more than or more for me than my own father of everyone I know she deserves to suffer at least on another's behalf Forgive me. this isn't easy to say but we shouldn't go it's true it's the obvious choice if we don't show up, he gains nothing from killing her. They lose a useful hostage and anger their enemies a great deal. We could call their bluff on That's this one. Correct. Exactly, if we stay, she might die. If we go, she still might die. I would put the odds at a relative equal. On the other hand, if we stay, our mission is unharmed. If we go, we risk losing everything. You're right. I won't ask any of you to come with me. This is my fight, and my fight alone. I'm going either way. With all due respect, Irving, you should know that's not fair. Maybe not. Well, that's how it is. We've traveled across continents with you. We've overcome trials that no one else has ever even attempted in centuries. You have to stop acting like this is your journey alone. This isn't a, a single one of us who wouldn't come with you. It's not that. It's just that I have no right to force my personal burdens on the rest of you. We don't get to have our own burdens anymore. We're in this together. I knew that the moment I stepped off the ship in, Ver in Verora. Sure, it may have been reckless to try and save your mother, but many of us would do the same. And you'd be right there with us, wouldn't you? Leading the charge for any one of us. Many of us don't have families left to save. It's a blessing that you do. I trust you. This is our family now, Irving, and we trust you. One of these days, you're going to have to accept that. I can see that this that I was abdicating any accountability for my actions. It was unfair for me to pretend you wouldn't join me. You are loyal friends. <laughs> I'm just here for the good food. Bungie! You and me both. All but Bungie, of course. I'm lost. Hey, what did I do? Oh, be quiet, you big oaf. I can't believe you just stole my line, Irving. Yes, well, I guess what I mean to say is it's hard to admit how much I rely on each of you, or each and every one of you. Mm. We rely on each other, Irving. That's how this works. I'll point out, I never said I wanted to stay, simply that we should. The further we acknowledge the danger, the better chance we come out alive. You think I would miss a chance to get Esme back? Not in a heartbeat. We're not doing this because it's strategic, we're doing this because it's right. We're going to Arrogance Peak to give this necromancer a beating he'll never get the chance to forget. <laughs> I've been waiting to blast this guy for months. Just like back home. We're right up by your side, Irving. Always have been, always will be. Thank you, I'm honored to know you all. What is an oaf anyway? Ah, Benji. The best character. Maybe not out of the field, but in our hearts. Okay, get some of this bonding done and out of the way. So that takes care of that. We have tons and tons of money. So much money. Okay, so I'm gonna buy two of those so I have enough to buy either a level four or a uh, 
stat booster. Level four it is. Spit flash recurve. Okay. So I think we're pretty much set on the uh, level ones. We can buy one level two. You need to get some level threes for uh, Irving. We should probably get a couple of level ones and start upgrading Spear as well. I need like, I guess we just need one, maybe two. I think it's two, and then we get Pike. I still need to upgrade Warren's weapons as well. Okay, since the last map was fairly short, I should have enough time to do one more. After their daring mission in High Ridge, the revolution is faced with a grim decision. Irving's mother, Esme, is being held at Akamos at Arrogance Peak, near the border of Nialis. Everyone agrees that they must go after her. Risks be damned. Now, prepared for a fight, they approach Arrogance Peak, where Akamos awaits. Alone, Irving. Akmenos. How pleasant to formally make your acquaintance. Where is my mother? She is safe, not far from here. What do you want for her? Have you ever heard the tale of, of this place, Arrogance Peak? I haven't. I thought not. It's rather dark. A tragedy, some might say. You won't find it in most histories. Back in the Age of Ascension, a young human woman sought to build a tower to the gods. She amassed an impressive following, thousands breaking back in vow. To join her in her quest. It is said that it came to revile even the great spire of Sojourn, though such a feat would elude the prowess of today's carpenters and masons. Uh. Let's get to the point. Patience, young man, patience. The project was progressing at such an unprecedented pace, each of them thought they might actually meet the gods in their lifetime. Rather ironic, actually. They were right. They met a god, a vengeful god whose name was forgotten. To build such a tower was an affront to him and his authority. So he destroyed it, killing the young woman and evading and invalidating a decade of work from a thousand mortal souls. The gods aren't meant to meddle in mortal affairs. The god's name has faded into obscurity because he never found another follower among mortals. No one knows whether he retained his divinity. I've been watching you for quite some time, Irving. You've grown into a formidable warrior. There are matters afoot that are beyond your comprehension. Best not you not meddle in them. Stop this ill-fated revolution, and you'll be saving countless lives for your, your mother among them. I do not wish to see you harmed. These quarrels are beneath my interest. You mean to tell me you never stop to consider that calling me the human in that story makes you the god? Of course I consider that. It's part of the point. I was t told you were bright. In your story, nobody wins. The god has never was never worshipped again, right? 
It's just You've a story. Made your death a necessity. You're just as misguided as those in the story, then. I can't honestly believe I was afraid of you for so long. What did you just say? You're delusional if you think you're anything. To think anything you've done is justified. You're a coward. You desecrate the bodies of people who gave their lives for honor. You hide behind them. It's disgusting. Careful, boy. You know not what you speak. Drop the mystique. Act menos. I know exactly what I speak of. You're worthless. I had hoped we would get along. I'm going to enjoy killing you. Let's see it then. Okay, so on the one side, we have tons and tons of spellcasters. I don't see any illusionists, so it might be fine for illusionists. These guys might be a bit uh, scary, but I think most of everything else should be relatively fine. Okay. So, first off, we're going to go in and throw in our mage killers. And we also need a couple of healers. So we know we're going to need those two. Okay, so Ben needs to be in a little bit of damage. Uh, Fenton should be fine. I guess we'll throw on Slowing. Says so she does have a perk that makes her a bit more helpful. I'm probably going to need a uh Akminos has isolated Irving. But Irving's right here. 
Unless we're just talking about like story, is that'd be weird if Irving was actually stuck here. Just like in which case I deny myself a slot and I'm restarting the mission because that would just be kind of bad programming, I think. Anyway, uh, as it stands, I think that would be our best bet. If I could, I'd like to get Irving one more level up. And we should be able to do it here. The biggest problem is going to be with these archers. Other than that, uh, I mean, we have plenty of archers down here. I wonder how many enemies we'd have to kill to weaken him, like, fully. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, just don't put Irving in because he's going to be in... Okay. <laughs> kind of an oversight there. There is a chance I could probably sort of just be a bit more painful because having that one more unit could make all the difference. Okay. Okay, so don't, so just don't put Irving in because he's just gonna get moved up there. Okay. So let's try this again. So that would work for the most part. But do I want an archer or should I go with more magic?
Well, I think we're gonna go with, uh... I like Aruma. Iris probably would be good, too. We have slowing in, so... Ford might also be very useful, though. I kind of feel like I want someone with disarm. In which case, it'd be Corvin would be the best. It's not very good at attacking, though. She so has slightly better evasion. And Brooke can usually survive by herself, but not always. Let's try Brook. Oh. Oh. That is... Are, are, are we required to have him? I'm intrigued to see how this plays out. Can do. Day to play hero. Music is too peaceful for what's about to happen. Not bad, not bad. It is willed. This might take a while. But now I know I need to kind of upgrade the Warbo for uh, the more heavily armored mages. Which usually aren't too big of a problem, or usually that numerous. But. Okay, I guess. Just have to keep with that. Nothing. <laughs> Ready. Move. No! 
My shield is yours. Don't mind if I do. Quickly and quietly. See how that plays out. Okay, so I don't really have to advance, they're just all come towards me. Two percent chance to hit. Okay, I guess I'll just have to play tank. So I'm guessing I need Irving to f do the final blow, perhaps? So maybe I had it set up right the first time, <laughs> because okay, so each one does like a tenth of, of a thousand. Uh, <laughs> the game is doing some weird stuff. <laughs>
So let's see. Literally the best. Every unit with lower level increases crit. Gain 6% power for every adjacent player unit, uh, plus 35% health. Can no longer double attack. Power is increased by speed. Push range, plus 1. Hmm. Able to equip fire magic. Magic is equal to strength. Able to equip fire magic. Possibly. He's got like 38 strength, so that would be 38 magic. Look work. Jason allies gain 20% of unit's defense. Jason allies gain 10% power. Gains extra damage proportional to missing health. Chance to attack again. Increased by enemies missing health. get increased to speed, dexterity, and the like. Mm. Not too much changes except for mastery and speed. Able to equip fire magic. Magic is equal to strength. Oh yeah, that's right. She has a ability that gives her like a slight increase Aww. on crits. 
just my luck. Been waiting for this. Both pretty even. I don't know why they chose such calming music for the battle theme on this map, all things considered. Still with us? Good. It's on! Finally, she can do some damage. Let's get going. The hunt is on. <laughs> With every shot, progress. Pretty good. Strike true. Your reward. I just find the whole <laughs> calming music so weird. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta start worrying about archers. That's a kill. No one's going to be attacking this one, so I sped it up purposely that time. Uh... Don't mind if I do! Benji's always ready! You crossed the wrong Valburin! Okay, so we should survive... ...one of the archers. Quickly and quietly. Just to... ...kinda see. All yours. In fact, for safety, we can do like that. Better over there.
I just jumped over here and slash. I miss it. You won't be missed. So close to a level up. Okay, at least he had a 1% hit. Chance to hit! Uh. My turn! For a beatdown. She needs to get a couple of kills anyway. Can I assist? And this will probably be enough to embrace your get promotion. Fate. Yep, we're going for <laughs> Dragon Knights. Is willed. It is willed. Now, in that case, we'll just go for the skill. Embrace your fallen fate.
for me. shouldn't have. Lead the way. And then I guess we'll just have to stay like that. You're hella dead. Wrong day to play hero. Kind of a good map to get fed a bunch of experience, though, if you have the right setup. Oh, we can counterattack now. Kinda. Neat. Benji, if I hit the right button this time. Actually, I'm not even sure if that registers anymore. Messing around with some stuff earlier. Let me go ahead and make sure, uh. Hold on. There we are. That'll. I was trying to do stuff to clean up all the audio a bit more. But just to be sure, I guess it could say it's a test. And for a note to myself. Around two hours forty-four. Get some of that. Get a move on. Stay with me. Heave. Hi, the 
that'll do. If you insist. All yours. I like you better over there. Alright, so... It's a 66% chance. Glad you're on my side. Effort duly rewarded. Let's get going. day to play hero. Oh, and she heals every single time she crits. Not bad, not bad. Interesting. Uh, it's on! That should be fine. Stop poking me. Almost lost you there. I could have farmed a little bit more, but... I kind of want Brooke to do the farming while she can. So I might need those duelists a bit more. For it. That's gonna hurt. Might not kill. Pretty dang close. You won't be missed. Tiny bit, but nonetheless, that one helps. The silent guide leads. To God damn, that's a good level up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. yours. Get that there. It's all falling into place. Looking good, if you insist. It's all in the execution. Sharp skills, full pockets. Pretty good. Aye. Give them no quarter. Can't remember, did this side have dragons? Eh, uh, no, just horsemen. We're good, we're fine. Everything's going to be fine.
Here. Get a move on. Impressive, is it not? Back in action. Guess I got my kill. That's new. On the move. Make haste. Go for a green knight, maybe. Mage Bane. Half of magic using enemies' magic added to damage. This grants 40% fortitude while active. Sniper preparation accuracy plus 35 if unit hasn't moved. And attack range of 3. We're gonna go with Green Knight. These are the Mage Bane. Run like the wind! Do not lose hope! And... Let's see. That is one, two, three. So either go really good or really bad. So I'm all fired up. Level up the heat. Not Time that for it's a beatdown. Damage already, but we can do more. For this, pretty good actually. Trade in our favor. Glad you're on my side. Good. Wrong Good. day to play hero. for it! It includes only a 1% hit. Plus, we get retaliation as a quick guarantee now. Make haste. Now. 
Run like the wind! Dodge the second one, huh? It's on! Oh. Gotta hit once. I'm all fired up. There's a guarantee. If you insist. All yours. That's a bit too If powerful. you insist. So, we'll go ahead and do what damage we can. <sighs> oh, all right. Do you expect me to thank you? Stay with me! Oh, I guess they can't pass him. Rally to me! I guess that's what this is saying, so... Plus the XP. Time for a beatdown. Everything was going so good. Oh, wait, she got it. Got experience from it. <sighs> and now you die. Death is your reward. In position. Mm -hmm. 
what sucks is that they got two crits and they had a 38% chance to hit on both of those hits. My shield is yours. Do not lose hope! Here goes nothing! More work? Day to play hero. I'll see if I can finish up the map. Mastery and 2 HP. The HP is fine. The mastery. not nearly as good as it could have been, but. probably use some more strength, really. Aye, that'll do. Strength, uh, defense, fortitude, and mastery. It's all in the execution. It's easier if you hold still. Pretty good. You're asking for it!
Make haste. Run like the wind! My shield is yours. You crossed the wrong Valburin! It's rather night. Benji's always ready! Please clap! Quickly and quietly. You won't be missed. It's easier if you hold still. Wow, four crits in a row. Right away. All right. I like you better over there. Yeah, we'll have to get closer so we can use our archer like one more time. I really want to hit him. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. I was in laugh. I've got like six, six crits in a row. I guess we just won the map now. Wish I could do that. <laughs> what do you know? I gave it to them straight. You misjudge what my friends and I are capable of. That's the last mistake you'll, ever, you'll get to make. I never misjudge Irving, keep that in mind. My greater purpose is beyond your comprehension. You don't live as long as I have without contingency plans. You have great power in you. You may see me as an atrocity, but I know honor such as you could never see. Still, I feel lucky to have made your acquaintance. These are historic times. It had times. to be done. Now, Akmenos. I don't see you as an atrocity, simply a man corrupted by fire, just like the rest. A pity, too. There was much wisdom in your speech, yet your arrogance is your downfall after all. Perhaps it is, but not today. What did he just... Wait, don't touch it. Not without his glove, or you'll share his fate. I should have seen this coming. I can handle the staff, Irving. I think I know what we're dealing with. So much for seeing the last of him. Let's go find your mother, Irving. We're safe now. I know it's not exactly the life you're used to, but you'll be safe here. Mm. I like it. It seems you and your friends really have made it a home of this place. Mm. Well, it's taken some time, but I guess you're right. Though I do hope to see home again. And not in ashes either, like it used to be. Nothing is ever exactly as it once was. I learned that the moment your father received his first assignment. I saw him, you know, when we traveled to Verora. When I'd heard you'd fled, I thought you might seek him out. 
It was a strange thing meeting him for the first time under these circumstances. Of course. Not a moment most children ever prepare for. How was he? Well enough, I suppose. But the state of the world seemed to weigh on him a great deal. He asked after you. <laughs> I'm sure he did. What did you tell him? The truth. That I hadn't seen you in a while, but hope I had... But at last I had, you were fine. Safe. I never would have guessed. Still. Mother, I... I was so worried. I was happy you had that day... It's alright. Shh, that's alright. No need to dwell on dark thoughts that have not come to pass. You're right. I'm safe here. I don't expect to be traveling abroad anytime soon. I'm glad of it. It's you I'm worried about. Much rests on your shoulders now, son. Not mine alone. And it's clearer now than ever that our cause is just. There are more who believe that with each passing day. And each of them has placed their faith in us. I just hope we don't fail them. You won't, I'm sure of it. Though I must confess, as your mother, I'm obliged to say these kinds of things. Only you can make them true. I know. We lost... Alexa. Or Alexia. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place this on slot one. And I'm going to see if she's somehow still alive. I rather doubt it. But there is a chance. Should have expected you or to find you all. <sighs> Can't sleep? There's plenty to keep the mind busy. I'm sure you know well enough. Elias, any luck with the necromancer? <sighs> Not yet. The astral space in these anchors is immense. And none too pleasant. I've encountered a few souls so far, but nothing resembling Ac Acmenos. <laughs> Good gods, man, you look terrible. Are you feeling alright? I'm fine, just tired is all. Though I must admit, some of the some of these souls are so disfigured. Charming. Acmenos must have tortured them for years, and it seems he was fairly imaginative in his methods. It's hard to imagine the people they once were. Then don't try to. That could just be what he wants, to slow you down and discourage you. Listen, you've accomplished a great deal today. Why don't you get some rest? I think you m that might be wise. Don't lose heart, Elias. Your efforts will bear fruit soon enough. Please. Speaking of which, we've made some headway on the history of the object. The documents provided by the Mystic Council have been instrumental. What did you discover? It cr its creation appears to date back before the Calamity. In those days, there were many attempts to artificially manufacture aspects. The appropriate materials, or so they thought, were gathered, crystals of varying qualities from the deaths of void malls. Then they were often infused into objects that then flooded with exorbitant amounts of arcane energy. In this case, the stones appear to have been embedded into the branch of an ancient tree, although the species I'm, un I'm unable to recognize. Of course, there are no indications of any of these efforts actually succeeding or succeeded in creating aspects. Instead, many of them have produced soul anchors, not unlike the, so the stone which guided us to Koel Sumash. So the staff functions as a sort of multi-roomed prison. Soul. Of souls, yes. And one that has survived millennia at, all, at that, without the typical signs of deterioration. From the looks of the glove Akmenos wore to wield touch alone appears sufficient to transfer a soul into one of its anchors. Mm. Truly terrifying. Perhaps it's bit best to destroy it. I wouldn't advise that. Not just yet. There's still much we can learn from it, and I've only just begun to explore the records of known artifacts from before the Pace Calamity. Yourself. If you say so, but it's evident we should approach this business about the staff with caution. I fear it may yet play some role in Akmenos' spot. Certainly. I concur. We will tread lightly. I won't let it out of our sight, I assure you. Good. Now, if there's nothing else to report, I'll take my leave. Sleep well. We'll see you at the council in the morning. So I'm pretty sure she is, like, actually gone. Oh, no, she's here. Never mind. She's here. Everything's fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure I turned on permadeath and everything. When Brooke died, she stayed dead. But... Everyone else I've managed to, like, lose in battle, like, Ford and Alexa, they all live. 
Like, what the heck? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up then, as far as, uh, bonds. So I still need to do some upgrades. I have no idea how many more uh, maps we have left. We're at, we are at chapter 21, so if somehow there's like 40 maps or something like that, then we're only like halfway through the game. I might take a look. I'm relatively blind on this game, since this is my first playthrough of it entirely. And there's just so much dialogue, which is the only reason why I'm skipping these. So I'm sure the characters are excellent. I mean, I, we already we already found Benji, so, and I don't detest any characters either by design or anything like that. Some I've obviously used more than others, and perhaps there's like I've been trying to play around with some of the classes and stuff. But again, first playthrough, you don't know what classes are necessarily the best. You don't know which characters are best suited to particular roles. Some of them. I mean, you can kind of guess. I am glad that I made uh, Caius and Sophia witch hunters, because they have been exceptionally useful for that. Uh, Bianca, the astral seeker, she's been putting in work every single map, just about. I don't think there's a map that I haven't put her in. I'd have to go to review the VODs, but... I don't think there is one. We just have so many characters now. So we do have backups in case we do lose someone. I just don't want to lose Brooke so early on because she was like the only fencer that we had. Or the only duelist rather. And now we do have Rin. Who is a few levels up. But Brooke has the upgraded weapon. And you can't transfer weapons or anything like that. So there are certainly differences and similarities to uh, certain ones like uh, or certain games like Fire Emblem, which is the one that I'm used to playing. And I won't say it's going to be immediately after this, but I'm thinking I'm going to visit uh, three houses on stream at some point, or one of the Fire Emblems. If somehow I am able to get my hands on something that allows me to do a capture of the 3DS, um, I might try and do a original hardware stream, otherwise I guess the only other thing that I could ever potentially do is uh, some kind of emulation, which I have seen one, but I haven't uh, played around with it to see what I'd be able to do, much less, um, is if, at the very least I'd have to figure out uh, exactly how I would want to present the 3DS. And at the very least, I would certainly make like a custom uh, scene and it will be specifically for that. I might make like an entire uh, profile tailored around 3DS depending on how that does, but that's just thinking like in a far future if I ever get that hardware. Just thinking out loud, more or less. So we're going to go ahead and save there. And it's already about midnight here. Unfortunately, I have to get up early in the morning, so I'm going to go ahead and call it there. Otherwise, I'm actually feeling a bit more lively than I did just before stream. And could have potentially gone on for much, much longer. But that's where we're at. Uh... And if you weren't here from last time, I did retake the castle in Fallout 4, which is uh, Fort Independence. It took a couple of attempts to clear it out. I didn't have any problems taking it. It was clearing out the inside after we had technically acquired Fort Independence. There's uh, some wirelocks on the interior of the structure. That you, have to, that you uh, pretty much have to clear out once you're done with the big battle that takes place over it. 
and I don't have problems with the normal Mirelurks. They do a fair amount of damage to me, to be sure. But I can usually deal quite a bit of damage to them long before they get to me, including mostly like the soft shelled and even regular Mirelurks. However, uh, and that entire area just overall, just the entire like peninsula part of, of that of the map, I guess you could say. No, I know it's not a true peninsula. It was Legendary Razor Claw Mirelurk City. And my character's pretty hard hitting right now, but god damn are those things tanky. They can one-shot me, even. I learned that firsthand. I did forget to enable the uh, death counter, so I'm gonna have to go and up the count on that manually. But I think I only died like two times. And then going in route to Fort Independence in itself was a little bit intense in a few areas and certainly could have gone south very easily. I forget what they're called, but they're like the militarized uh, Securitrons. They might be called Securitrons, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're called Securitrons now I think about it. Uh, it's the other smaller guys called Protectrons, and they can be a bit of a problem sometimes to get lucky hits and stuff, but anyway, the, se the Securitrons uh, I mean, they're a somewhat of a problem in the, in the older Fallouts, like Fallout 3 and New Vegas. They can certainly uh, be problematic just with the high DPS, but overall not too much difficult to fight. In Fallout 4, they were cranked up to like an 11. They got missile launchers. They will ram into you at full speed and do a shit ton of damage. They have... I think it's like a Gatling laser or something like that. I haven't fought too many, so I'm not entirely sure on everything that they have, but I do remember that they can go full speed and ram into you, and it's pretty hard to dodge that if you're too if you're not far enough away. And then the missile, well, gotta get lucky with cover. Because otherwise you're probably gonna die to that alone. Speaking of missiles, we did find another regular missile launcher and like five missiles and we had to store that at Hangman's Alley. Because there's no way I would have enough room with how much those things weigh on survival. On survival, missiles cost or weigh like seven pounds each. And in the normal base game, even all the way up to very hard where because survival makes everything weigh except for quest items and like missile anything that would go into miscellaneous like notes and stuff. And certain collectibles like bobbleheads and all that, but like ammo weighs, everything weighs. Stem packs that normally don't weigh, weigh. I'm pretty sure they do, that they don't have weight in the normal game. And uh, all ammo weighed nothing in the base game. Without uh, playing survival mode, that is. And that's from easy all the way up to hardest. Or legendary, whatever they call it. I think it's just called hardest. But on survival mode, oh boy, everything weighs. So there's a lot of item management. I'm loaded with ammo right now, and I do have a plasma rifle that needs upgrading. But I need uh, more perks, such as science, and I'd like to upgrade gun nut all the way up. In science, I'd like just because we can then build the best generator in the game, which gives you 200 power, which far exceeds everything else, because I think the most you can get is 15 otherwise. 15 uh, power per generator. Or you could just build this one super generator in granite. It's kind of pricey and scrap that's required, mostly looking at nuclear material, but it pays off in just pays off so much to have 200 power and I've never have to worry about building more generators. You can build all the water purifiers you want and just have a freaking booming economy. And so that's kind of what we're working towards. 
we have some side quests we're going to go do. Um, we did get the quest that allows us to go all the way to Nuka World, which I'm going to be putting off for now. And then we'll go visit that at a later time. Probably at some point, like maybe level 45, level 50-ish, depending on what's going on at the time. And the only other thing I'm trying to trigger, because I forget what the trigger is for it, is the... Uh, other quest line for the castle that allows you to expand and build mortars at every settlement. It also expands a little bit more of the castle. You get more rooms and a couple of like prefabricated stuff, which is always helpful. And the way that you know you trigger is that there's a lady that pops in at the castle, uh, Fort Independence. I'm just going to keep calling it the castle. And she'll give you the quest and everything for that. And then you'll be able to scrap the concrete that is blocking off the rest of the rooms in the fort. And I think you get like another one, maybe two sections. And at one of them you have to, again, uh, scrap the concrete. And then it reveals a door that leads downstairs, I do believe. Our current companion is uh, Piper. She's not exactly the best at combat. Competent, but not at all the best equipped overall. Preston's kind of okay as well. He does a lot of damage, sure, but uh, he also only gets like one shot. Piper has a 10 millimeter uh, pistol, which does a reasonable amount of damage. But it's just a pistol. You can give your companions uh, other weapons and stuff but you will have to give them ammo for that weapon and I was trying to play around with it because I didn't I could not remember for certain but it appears you can't give them a upgraded version of the same weapon that they have which would be nice because they have infinite ammo for whatever their primary weapon is that they originally start off with like for Preston it would be the laser musket which I mean it, it, there's really good improvement sh for sure but you're not like increasing it to mag size or anything like that and uh, so for Piper I tried uh, several times to give her an, an advanced receiver uh, re uh, the receiver was advanced anyway so it has like tons of damage output and everything else and it just she but it keeps swapping back to her other ones that means that she's not able to use it because she doesn't have 10 millimeter uh, 10 millimeter ammo Despite she has infinite ammo for her normal 10mm pistol. But. Nonetheless. So. Next Wednesday. I should be. As long as I'm able to come online. There's a couple things going on. That, which may or may not prevent me. From streaming next week. But. Uh, all things considered. I should. If I am streaming. Will be Fallout 4. 9 930 uh, Pacific Standard Time in the evening and then we will be doing more maps of Dark Deity next Thursday around the same time, 9 nine thirty 30 uh, Pacific Standard Time in the evening and other than that I still need to take some time to do a, a couple of test recordings and see if I can get uh, Tiberium Sun well, I'm, actually, I know I can do Type Dream Sun, but I need to take a look and see if there's any modifi any type of modifications, mostly through the options and cleaning up anything that I might have to for a Red Alert 2 campaign. Because I know the CNC net version for the skirmishes, which I've been doing, because I can easily do teams and acquaint, which I do to acquaint myself with all the units and, fit, and try and figure out strategies and stuff like that. And it's not like I'm going into Red Alert 2 blind, but I am going to try and test myself to see how much I remember. I'm trying to think. Right, they, I think they have a uh, tutorial, like a little tutorial campaign. I could probably do a test recording of that. That might work. Oh, all that being said, 
stay healthy, stay frosty, and until next time, hopefully I'll have my audio cleaned up a bit more. Because I'm seeing a couple things that I'm going to try and implement. But until then, farewell.